Ladies and gentlemen, I am Living Dead, and welcome back to Ion. Um, I feel like it's been a long time since I've talked at all about Ion, and there there are several reasons for that. Um, the main of which is that I've kind of gotten a little bored with um, the Echoes of Eternity update, and I think that's only because it seemed so incomplete to me when it launched. I mean, I, I did like some of the new dungeons, and um, I spent a lot of time doing those. Dungeons are one of the biggest things that I enjoy about Ion, aside from sieging. In case you couldn't already tell from watching my channel, I really like dungeons. I like all of the other aspects of the game as well, but I love dungeons. And that may sound strange because I know it is a PvP game, but I do rather enjoy doing the dungeons and the sieges because then you have the aspects of it at least not as far as the dungeons are concerned, you have the aspects of sieging that are both PvP and PvE, which is a combination that I always appreciated about Ion, is you had that sort of melding of the two things. Uh, some of my biggest disappointments with the Echoes of Eternity update are going to be remedied in the upcoming patch, North America patch, and, you know, it was the lack of things like a dredgen and, you know, other updates that I felt should have been part of the expansion. So that being said, I want to talk about some of the things that are coming in the next update to Echoes of Eternity in North America. And that update will be live as of November 9th, so about two weeks from now. Uh, we're going to be getting a bunch of different things. Uh, one of them I know is a Archdeva only crafting system called Aether Forging. And it looks like you're going to be able to make a variety of things, like consumables, gear, mounts, wings, all that stuff. And I think that's good because, you know, it feels like the crafting system in the game, like the original crafting system that was with the first, the initial launch of the game, has gotten kind of out of date. And I say this because morphing seems to have replaced it as far as, you know, crafting is concerned. So. I think Aether Forging and the whole coalescence system that they're implementing where you save gear and like you break it down to make other gear is going to be a much needed change and I honestly feel that this all should have come a lot earlier. Um, I'm gonna say that about a bunch of the things that we're gonna be talking about as well as the Archdeva transformations, the extended transformations, um, which we're gonna be finally getting in this patch uh, to enhance the transformation we already have, uh, which will be nice because I've really been enjoying Terra Skin. Um, the other thing is the instances. We're going to be getting, I think it's like six instances. Let me just make sure of that. Yeah, I believe it's six because they, are, you know, they're updating Igil Dome and a fit in Warpath for Archdevas only. And we're also going to be getting the dredgen I've been waiting for, uh, which is the new Archdeva level 66 plus dredgen. And I really wish they had put this in when they first launched the Echoes of Eternity patch. This would have saved me a lot of boredom and time wasting because, you know, dredgen was one of the things that I always really loved about Ion. It was one of my favorite things to do. I had, you know, I had a timer set. On my on my cell phone, I used to log in every day for Dredgen, um, every time it was up, and it just felt so incomplete to have a new patch with level cap raised without a new Dredgen as well. And I've been kind of laying off of the game, like taking a bit of a break from it for days and days at a time because I just haven't felt like doing anything really. And this is probably going to help a lot. Um, the other things we're getting, we're going to be getting a, uh, a new solo dungeon called Fisher of Oblivion, which I have always enjoyed their solo instances in this game, um, especially things like Gromine's Trial and um, Paramel. I've always enjoyed their solo dungeons, so I'm hoping this one lives up to my expectations of their solo dungeons because some of them, some of the solo dungeons I really didn't enjoy because I felt like they were just time consuming and tedious, like Talix Hollow. I wasn't a huge fan of Talix Hollow, but 
you know, I do want to see some of this new content. This one in particular um, ventures into, you know, the story of your lost memories as a Deva, and they've kind of been touching on that since the beginning of this new expansion, so I'd like to see more of that expanded. Um, the other instance we're going is Fallen Poeta, and it's just mildly hilarious to me that we just cannot leave this Poeta zone alone, because Dark Poeta and, you know, we've always, it's always about Poeta. So I guess we're going back there again. Um, we're going to see a Poeta of the future that has been invaded by the Bilar, and um, we're going to fight the Bilar again to take control of Poeta. Uh, the other instance that I'm actually I think is a really cool idea is the Cradle of Eternity. So it's it's really cool that they're adding a dungeon that only unlocks once you've completed another dungeon. The only thing that I think is kind of obnoxious about this is the particular server that I am on. There's not a lot of people running archives, and I think that's really strange because it's not like the players on my server are incapable of running archives. I think there's a lot of really good players on my server. I just don't understand why more people aren't hugging archives. Um, I know it's kind of unforgiving. Some of the bosses can have some pretty nasty rage timers if you don't have the DPS to get them down quickly, but as I said, I mean, I don't think that the players on my server are unskilled or lacking in gear or DPS. Um, I just don't understand why people aren't pugging it more. So the reason I'm focusing on this is because if you haven't finished archives, you can't do Cradle. So we're going to get this whole new dungeon that a lot of people are probably not going to see. So I'm hoping that this pushes people to start pugging archives like a lot more. So hopefully we'll be seeing more of that going on in this LFG. Um, that aside, I think this is a really, this is a good update to the game. I think it's very necessary, I think it's needed, and I wish it hadn't come so late in this expansion launch. Um, I'm very excited to see it, and I will definitely be waiting. I'm probably not going to spend as much time online until this happens, because like, like I said, I had been waiting for most of this content. I was kind of wondering why it wasn't implemented when Arc, when Echoes of Eternity went live. So, again, these are all the things that are coming. Um, if people were looking for me in-game, the reason I haven't been around is basically because, you know, I've had a lot of stuff going on in real life, and on top of that, um, I've been waiting for more stuff like this to come to the game, extra content. So, thanks again, as always, guys, for supporting my Ion videos, supporting my channel. It really means a lot to me, and it helps me, it really gives, helps me, motivates me to move forward with these videos and continue to talk about Ion and continue to play uh, so I can continue to bring you guys content. Thank you all again so much, and I will see you guys in the next video and in the next patch. 